This is my entire record collection. This and all of these. I actually had close to a hundred more and I needed the money and I sold another hundred or so a couple of years ago and I regret it. What are you gonna do? Many of these records are rare. Some are one of a kind. Many of them are originals. And they cover a plethora of different genres. Classic rock, classic metal, 80s pop, gothic, industrial, not so much industrial, but gothic or goth related, experimental. Uh, there's all kinds of different types of music in here. It's hard to keep track of all of it. I'm going to dedicate about two to three seconds per record because as it is, this is going to take about 10 minutes to get through because there's roughly about, I don't know what, maybe 350 here. And I want to say 450 there. So there's a lot of them. This is the re-release uh, of the German version. Chris John's solo EP. One of them, anyway. A recent Charlotte Gainsbourg release. Double vinyl gatefold. And a wonderful, juicy picture of her in the gatefold. This has the peeling banana, but it's a reprint. Savage's debut on vinyl. Self-explanatory. Under the title, Images. Contains mostly tracks from the... 1980 Floor Show on the Midnight Special. Rare six-inch single from Boyd Rice and Rose McDowell from the Spell album. I don't remember what's on this. I forgot. And obviously we're into my Bowie collection now. Get through these as quickly as we can. All of these Bowie records are original prints. This one's original also. And yes, these are both original prints from 1977. And here's the other half of the both. Original American version which, by the way, is warped. That's the only record I have that has any issues at all. Most of them do not skip, nor do they have any major scratches or other blemishes. Nearly all of them play very clean. Not just the Bowie, but all of my records. And of course, the hideous tin machine. What was he thinking? Black Star, and no, it's not the clear vinyl edition. Now we're into the Christian Death collection. Some uh, Raws autographed for me, and I sold them. The ones that were autographed. He tried to steal those, and if anybody wants to know, just ask what that story's about. Now we're getting into the dreaded Valor or as Roz called him, Velour. I have a bunch of Christian death on CD too, including Rage of Angels and Path of Sorrows, as well as some of Roz's solo work, like Every King a Bastard Son. My music is actually on this, which is a German release. It was the first official tribute after Raz committed suicide. Actually, that's 
actually another official release which my music is also on was the first one which was dim view of the future from hollows hill that's a newer version the other one was original these are also all originals which except for the reissue were originals i sold some of them we're now into the Susie and the Banshees collection. A Creatures record that I bought at one of their concerts. So I stuck the Creatures in the middle of Susie. Okay. Now we're back to the Banshees. I once had a um, Banshees record. Or I should say it was a... Never mind. Well, I'll tell you. It was a bootleg and... Whoever made it misspelled the band's name. Susie was S-U-S-I-E, and the Banshees was spelled B-A-N-C-H-E-E-S-E. -E -E. Susie and the Banshees. I traded it to somebody for another record. I'm trying to keep this interesting because there's a lot of records to go through. This is going to be too long, so I may have to split this between two videos. By the way, my life is a nightmare. I was saying before I was rudely interrupted that my life is a nightmare. Ask me if you want to know. You will not believe the story. Now we are into Death in June. All originals, no reissues. That's live. This includes a little CD and Douglas actually signed it, autographed it on the back. This has all kinds of inserts and a poster too. Pretty cool. And of course, their classic one, Swastikas for Naughty. I actually don't remember the name of this one. It's also a gatefold with one record. And I believe it's colored too. This is on clear crimson red vinyl. Want to see? There you go. I actually passed through three or four Death in June albums that are on colored vinyl. This one is on clear vinyl. And there you go with that. This is a single uh, that my friend uh, Helios Creed sent me. He used to be the guitarist for Chrome and it also is on clear vinyl. Highly sought after 12 inch single by Fruer, do it, do it, which was a standard at House of Usher uh, when I used to go there, House of Usher in Berkeley originally. Classic moody dance hit. There isn't a goth girl that doesn't have Book of Love in their collection, and a few goth guys. I've got some more of their stuff and the other records over there to the left. Small Exmo Deutschland uh, collection. Very small. I don't remember where I got this, but I've had it for ages. Another Bel Canto. 